the astronaut's birthday is a collision of um, science fiction, classic films like Them, It Came From Outer Space, The Blob, with comic books from the late 60s, especially the Marvel Jack Kirby era, The Silver Surfer, Hulk, Fantastic Four. We kind of smashed those two together to create a kind of storytelling that is a bit like a massive slideshow. Tria Smith wrote the story of the piece. I don't want to give too much away, but we play with the idea of who the astronaut is. We play with the idea of the astronaut's birthday itself. There's an alien invader who demands something of the Earth, and the Earth replies, and mystery unfolds, and drama ensues. The show is actually conceived by Frank Marjorie and Jim Lasko. Uh, it came off of an idea that Jim Lasko had about turning the facade of the MCA into a giant shadow play. There's only one uh, source of projection in the show, and that's the overhead projector. And they're very simple Apollo overheads. Images are placed on the overhead, and they're meticulously moved to create motion on the screen. So because each one of the MCA windows is 10 by 10, we have to move the projectors back a really specific distance, and then we have to put them at a specific height. Behind every window, there are two puppeteers with two overhead projectors. Those overhead projectors are slightly skewed so that they can cross dissolve in between images. Sometimes those images are individual panels. Sometimes the whole facade is a massive composite. The images have to, for each window, have to be organized really specifically so that they know, as, as I call the show to them, I can tell them to stand by for a certain scene, they'll know to pull what, their one or two panels and then reveal it in the way that we've determined it's revealed. Every window will have their own walkie-talkie and I will be uh, talking to them through that walkie-talkie and calling the show there. So what he's calling are windows, A window go, C window go, all windows go, and then he counts them through increments left or right, up or down, side to side, to navigate their speed. So he might call a window A go two, four, six, eight, meaning the image gets revealed really quickly, or two, three. Some things might need to be a little faster, might need to be a little slower, and tempo needs to be more felt in the moment, essentially. We're upwards around 75 to 100 people working on the show. Close to 50 performers and support personnel inside the building, as well as the performers that are involved in silhouette performance. There's a production team of about seven to 10 people. Um, there are two directors, there's a writer, uh, there's an illustrator with a team of about nine anchors, text makers, um, colorists, uh, other drawers. The medium is quite like the classic uh, animation of the 30s, 40s, 50s. Start with the script and then brainstorm session between either Frank, Matt, or a small group of the illustrators. We draw on paper, we render that drawn image onto a, a piece of acetate with ink, and then we color that image by using uh, snippets and pieces of gels. And then it would be matted, and then it would end up in the puppeteers, the performer's hands. All within the medium of shadow puppetry on the screens and people seeing an active movie that's being created by live performers. Every projection is happening uh, from the overhead source. There's no video, there's no pre-created imagery. It's all happening right now. In order to make that look, you know, poetic at moments and then just really action-packed at moments is, is a really uh, impressive feet make that look like something more than it is.